Hello and Happy New Year! Today is the first day of year 2022 and I have a good feeling about this. What better way to start off this new year than with an epic knitting challenge? I am going to be knitting for 24 hours straight. I might regret this later <laughs> or in about like 16 or 18 hours. Let's see how it's gonna go. This year is all about knitting and I figured what better way to start the year than to do this video and a challenge, kind of push myself a little and also I'm really curious to see how much you can actually knit in 24 hours and if I'll be able to finish a sweater from start to finish and show you the whole process. I'm going to be knitting a top-down sweater. It's gonna be um, knitted with quite chunky yarn, a little bit inspired by this um, design or not this design, but this construction but I'm gonna make it kind of an intricate lace yoke and then I'm gonna have some brioche knitting for the sleeves and then for the body. That is at least the plan and I've done lots of sample swatches already and yeah it's just gonna be very interesting and let's see if this was a good idea or not <laughs> in approximately probably like 20 hours. Let's see where I'm at. and if I actually managed to pull through this uh, but I just thought it was a really funny idea uh, and I'm gonna do it and just felt like a good way to start the year so let's get right into it okay I think I am ready to get started I feel like I have everything I need uh, it's almost it's about quarter to two so I think I'm going to start the clock now and um, I'm gonna be casting on stitches but before that you need to do some important math first Okay, I am ready to begin. <gasps> now, all right. So I'm gonna begin by casting on 84 stitches with one strand of soft weed drops and one strand of Concept by Katia in Cotton Merino. Let's go, 84 stitches, casting on. I don't know why, but I feel sort of nervous about this <laughs> and a little bit stressed at the same time. I had so much trouble uh, figuring out the pattern I'm going to do for the lace yoke and just getting like all the stitches. Wait, what's going on here? Getting all the stitches to match up, but I think I finally, I think I finally have it. All right, so I'm just going to start by casting on 84 stitches with just a simple wrap-on method because I'm going to do a color that is going to be folded double, very much like this one. So I don't, I just want like to have a proper pretty loose um, cast on edge so it's not going to be too tight. All right, five millimeter needles, casting on first stitch. <laughs> Two, three, four. I'm a little bit nervous about how this is going to go because now the sun is already setting and it's 2 p.m. which means that most of this video I'm gonna have like horrible light. <laughs> um, so winter arguably not the oh, <laughs> winter is arguably not the best time to shoot a video like this but hello Vigo! <laughs> But I just figured it's such a nice way to kick off this year. So I wanted to do it anyways. And also because it's so dark, uh, I'm sitting indoors uh, knitting a lot anyway. So I thought, why not make a video about it and see how that's gonna go. Now I have no idea how many stitches I've <laughs> cast on. Uh, I have to count, let's see. Okay, yeah, I had way <laughs> too many. Did I say 14? 12, 14. <laughs> I'm in the first row of my collar and I can already feel like it's pretty tight. So I think I'm actually going to change to a six millimeter needle from a five millimeter needle just to make things a little bit more confusing for myself. Uh, and that way I think I won't end up with like a super tight collar because I want it to lay quite nice and flatly, a bit like this one that I'm currently wearing. Okay, uh, I've done the first row and I think I'm actually just gonna stick with the five millimeter needle. Eh, because usually I like that the color or the ribbing is really nice and neat and usually I feel like you can establish that when you go down two needle sizes instead of just one needle size for the ribbing. So just gonna gonna roll with it. It's dangerous. Dangerous stuff. <laughs> Knitting is dangerous. Gravity decline. 
are almost three hours into the challenge and I've just finished the collar and I've just switched to the seven millimeter needles now. So now I'm gonna start working on the lace yoke. Three hours, that's quite a long time to just make the collar, but I did eat and some other things uh, in between. So I think I could have been a little bit faster, but I think it looks good. Uh, the size is good. So now let's just continue with the lace. Back in business. We are going on hour five. I've been sitting in this couch for the past two hours at least. Uh, and I made some good progress. I'm very happy with how it's starting to turn out. So I've done almost like three repeats of this lace pattern. And yeah, so far, so far it's going good. Um, I've eaten some chocolate, uh, one bar of mint choco by Marabou, one of my favorite chocolates. Um, I've started this Netflix series called Stay Close, which is keeping me entertained. I've got Luna by my side curling up. Uh, it's very cozy. Uh, the light in here is unfortunately pretty artificial and yellow because it's it's dark outside and Yuki is now uh, putting on the sauna so we're gonna go in the sauna soon and I'm just gonna be knitting away. I think I'm also going to be uh, sewing the the collar like folded double and sew it together because I usually like to see how it's just gonna look so I think I'm gonna do that at some point um, usually like in knitting patterns it says you know to fold the collar double at the end and sew it together or attach it on the inside but I think I'm gonna do it that a little bit earlier but so far so good um, feeling very cozy feeling good high spirits uh, don't feel tired in my fingers don't feel tired uh, mentally or don't feel sick of knitting yet um, so it's, it's going good ready to knit in the sofa. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? I've been knitting for almost 11 hours now and this is how far I've come. Um, so now officially starting the night shift. It's already now Sunday the 2nd of January and I've just switched to Downton Abbey instead of the Scary series. And let's see, I feel a bit tired already, um, but still in good spirits. But um, Let's see how long I'll manage to keep that up. for 13 hours now. Uh, I did go to the sauna and I did eat in between, but otherwise I'm not really taking that many breaks. I've just been sitting and knitting and I've now finished most of the lace yoke. Uh, I'm really starting to feel that um, it is pretty late. It's 3, 3 a.m. Um, 
uh, I really need to get all my snacks and I'm just watching some Downtown Abbey and um, I can really feel also kind of tired because um, my original plan with the brioche knitting I'm not sure about anymore or I'm not sure how to kind of combine this lace thing with the body if I should do like two rows of pearl I tried to just uh, start it um, like immediately after the lace yoke, but that didn't work at all. Uh, there had were these like huge holes um, that appeared. Oh, I can really feel like I'm tired now. Like, I have a hard time <laughs> getting the words out. It's also very cold and I have to be here on the porch uh, because Yuki is sleeping, so I don't want to wake him up inside. But otherwise, I mean, I feel tired, but it's not super bad yet. Um, so <laughs> just gotta keep going. All right, I go back in. It is, uh, I think, around 9.30. I slept for maybe two, two and a half hours. Um, this is probably as bright as it's gonna get. It's a very great day. Um, I've got my knitting with me because I'm going to go to the other house to get to make some coffee, especially because we don't have a coffee machine in the small, in the small cottage. Feeling very tired, but it is so, so quiet outside. Um, Oh, there's just something when there's snow, this quietness and stillness, that is it's pretty special. Whew. So I'm going to be getting back into it. Let's see what hour we have. 19 hours, 44 minutes into the challenge. So that means there's still four hours and 15 minutes to complete this entire sweater. So I think that's not going to... I don't think that's gonna happen, um, but still gonna gonna be knitting for the rest of the time. Let's see how far we can get. Uh, I just got so tired yesterday that I had to I had to go to sleep for a couple of hours. But I'm awake, and let's let's uh, go finish this challenge. <laughs> It's not looking good uh, on the coffee department because it just keeps blinking and nothing happens so I think it must be too frozen so it's just not gonna work and also I don't want to break my parents coffee machine just because of this okay no coffee <sighs> heading back to the other cabin <laughs> of this knitting challenge 
Um, and safe to say, I'm probably not gonna be able to finish the sweater in just two hours. Um, well, I did sleep for a couple of hours, so maybe if I wouldn't have slept, well, I think I still wouldn't have been able to finish this sweater, but I'm still happy with it, and I'm gonna keep going until the end, and then maybe I'll try to finish it in 48 hours instead. And, I mean, to be honest, this challenge was more about seeing if how far I could come in 24 hours, so even though I'm probably not gonna be able to finish it, in 24 hours, I'm still happy that I've pushed through. <gasps> Only 30 minutes left. We are actually now packing up to go to the city because it's really cold in this cabin. So I'm still gonna be knitting the last 30 minutes or probably after that as well in the car. And then, then this challenge is over. See you soon. <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da! 24 hours <laughs> and this is how far I came ah, I think it's pretty good I think if I wouldn't have slept and wouldn't have eaten <laughs> and uh, wouldn't have gotten distracted by some things I would have gotten further but I'm still pretty happy with the how far I came and now I'm gonna continue in the car um, on our way home and probably continue tonight and try to finish this maybe by tomorrow or by Tuesday. Today's Sunday, so let's see. But yeah, the official part of this video and of this challenge is now done. Now on to the unofficial part. I look like I just like I've just woken up and that is because <laughs> I did just wake up when we got home uh, after the car ride back to the city got on this couch and fell asleep immediately and I've not really been able to get up uh, since also ordered some junk food hamburger and some french fries because I don't know if it's like when you're just really tired you just crave that kind of food so I just went ahead with that and now I feel, I had my nap, I had my junk food, I feel a little bit more energized again. But this is the current situation of the sweater, so I did knit in the car. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it by tomorrow either, even though I've maybe thought so, I thought like, ah, I'll just now uh, pull through and try to knit all night long, but <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I do feel kind of like a zombie. Um, but I'm still gonna work on it. I'm gonna try and sit and knit a little bit, even though my fingers, like this, um, the, what do you call this? The index finger, <laughs> the index finger of my left hand is really sore because this yarn is pretty bulky and I'm using seven millimeter needles. Um, and I have to kind of push like always the stitch off the needle. Um, and when you do that for many hours in a row, it gets pretty sore, so um, I don't know if I should switch maybe needles, if that would help, or like a shorter cable. Um, let's see, but I'll try to I'll try to knit a little bit, and then um, keep you updated. If I'm ever gonna do another one of these challenge videos, I really have to do it in the summertime when the light is better, because the majority of this video is just me sitting in artificial light knitting, um, and I always try to. I try to put in some effort to make my videos aesthetically pleasing to the eye and this video, safe to say, is probably not gonna be a huge win <laughs> on that on that side. But it's more for the story and for the experience and and the challenge. So oh yeah, definitely feels sore this finger. Well, hello there again. Now it is Wednesday, it is a super gloomy day, and this is how far I've come with it. Um, so I made some good progress, but obviously I still need to get the ribbing here, the rib hem and the sleeves. But I did try this on and it looks, it actually looks better than I could ever imagine. I really, really like how it's coming together. <laughs> 
Okay, I have just spent an hour doing the an Italian bind off, uh, basically, after I knitted the rib hem, and <laughs> I'm, I'm not very happy with it because. Um, okay, so here is how it looks. So this is the rib hem. Um, if it looks funny, I'm looking at the the screen. I have like a flip screen so I can see myself. Um, so. Um, I'm not very happy with it because as you can see like now there's this gather so it's not a very flattering form like on the belly it becomes like very big and in my mind I wanted it to be very feminine and quite straight I don't know why I why I did this rib so I think I'm gonna have to I mean now we're on Wednesday so it's the challenge is anyway gone so now I just want to make it as pretty as possible so I am going to unravel the Italian bind off that I just spent an hour or two making and unravel this ribbed hem and instead I think I'm going to do like a slit so just finish uh, continue with the brioche knit and like do it like a slit is that what you call it well you'll see soon <laughs> I came out because it's a lovely day. We've had so much snow and I thought what better place to do the final reveal of the sweater which I am wearing underneath and it will be revealed. Three, two, one! Ta-da! It is done! Approximately 40 or 50 hours later I have completed the sweater and oh boy I am so so happy with how it turned out and I'm so happy that I didn't give up and when some things didn't really look the way I had envisioned um, that I unraveled and I went back and I really tried to perfect this vision of this sweater and yeah I could not be happier it's a really cold day but this is really chunky and warm so but still like it's chunky and warm but I feel really good about the seven millimeter needle size I used because even though it's quite chunky and heavy it doesn't feel like really stiff you know like sometimes when you knit with very bulky yarn it can be quite stiff and then you just feel kind of big when you wear the finished piece but this just I feel like this is so flattering I love I've never really done, no, once I've done <laughs> this kind of slit thing here at the hem before, but I really like how it looks and I also like that I didn't put a rib at the edge of the hem and on the edge of the sleeve, so I'm just overall super pleased with how this project turned out. Now, along the way there were some challenges, some struggles, but I was really committed to finishing this sweater in less than a week. So today is Friday and I started on Saturday at around 2 p.m. And yeah, first I had that almost 24 hour <laughs> knitting stint with probably more like 20 hours because I slept a little bit and ate some things in between and then I've just been knitting every day. This has really been my priority to get this done. Well, as you've seen in this video, don't have to tell you that. <laughs> so this is uh, now going to be turned into a pattern. It's going to be featured in my upcoming knitting book, which I'm so excited about. Uh, with, and is the thing I'm working on really hard right now. And that is going to be released in autumn 2022 if everything goes to plan. <laughs> All right, I had put on my coat and <laughs> my mittens because it is really cold out here. I would love to hear what you thought about this video, so leave a comment below and also come say hi. I am at Kuto Kika over on Instagram. And um, if you'd like to see more of these kind of challenge videos, I really enjoyed making this. Oh, my nose is not running, excuse me. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so then you'll get notified every time there's a new video. I am trying to, at the moment, I'm going through a fate where I'm trying to really put a lot of quality and effort into each video I make. So I maybe make a little bit fewer videos, but then in 
in return, no, instead, <laughs> I hope they are really chock full of inspiration and tips and tools that you can enjoy. So that is why it takes a little longer to make them, um, but I do try, I have so many ideas. So uh, really looking forward to, looking forward to this year. All right, I'm gonna go now. See you, see you soon, ciao.